Hi, this is Vladimir, and in this video I will demonstrate a very popular cloud engineering interview challenge that is asked by multiple hiring managers from different companies across the world. Without further ado, let's start. So here is the task. Long story short, you need to develop some cloud infrastructure and deploy a web application to it. This might be presented to you as a take-home test or as a live coding session directly during the interview. It's not enough to just make it work. You need to implement this task effectively. And effective basically means repeatable and automated. If you build everything manually, most likely the interviewers will not accept the result. For this demo, I will use Terraform, which was my favorite automation tool, and AWS, which is my favorite cloud. Before I start coding, I will create a diagram, which is very simple. Users will hit a load balancer that distributes requests to a fleet of autoscaled web servers running within a VPC. For this video, I will assume you already know how to build a VPC in AWS and Terraform will not overload the diagram with things such as routing, availability zones, and CITR blocks. After the diagram is completed, we can start implementing. I will start coding by declaring a local variable. I will call this variable in the code and assign it a value. I will then use this variable throughout the code for each resource name. Then I will set up provider config. I will store the state file remotely in the S3 bucket and also add some default tags. These tags will be automatically assigned to each resource created by this provider. The environment tag will indicate the name of our application. That's the first place where I use the local variable that I've defined previously. And Terraform equals true will indicate that the resource is managed by Terraform. To create the actual resources, I will use open source modules. The Terraform registry hosts a broad collection of publicly available Terraform modules that are already available for you for configuring many kinds of common infrastructure tasks. These models are free to use and Terraform can download them automatically when you specify the appropriate source and version of the module. And obviously, these modules are enough to accomplish the task. The first module I will use is the VPC module. Developing infrastructure with Terraform modules is an extremely easy task. I just need to call the module and pass several required parameters. In my case, this is CIDR block of a VPC and subnets, availability zones, and a flag to enable NAT gateway. The second module that I'll use is the load balancer module. But prior to that, I will create a security group. I will not use a module for this. The security group is a very simple resource, and using a module to provision it looks like an overkill, at least for this demo. The security group will allow connections on port 80 from everywhere. Next, I will create a load balancer itself. This will be an application load balancer sitting in public subnets of my VPC. There will be a target group and a lister that listens on port 80. And finally, I will create a security group for my web servers and the auto scaling group. The security group will allow incoming requests from the load balancer on the port 80. And the auto-scaling group. Even though it hosts public application, the service should run in private subnets. Very often, people make a mistake and put an auto-scaling group into public subnets. Please pay attention to this moment when building your own infrastructure. For image ID, I will hard code the Amazon Linux AMI. That's not the best way to provide an image ID, but I don't want to overload the video with additional details. Next, I will create a user data script that will run every time an instance starts. It will install a web server and deploy the application. And as a final step, I will expose the URL of the load balancer as an output. Let's run Terraform FAT for the code to look pretty, then init and apply. After apply is completed, I can open the load balancer URL in a web browser, and it should display a web page. The game is deployed, and we can consider the task completed. Are you able to reach 248 in this game? Let me know your score in the comments. So this is it. I obviously oversimplified this solution just so it can fit into the format of this short video. There is an awful lot that we can improve. For example, we can add data sources. 
we can uh, configure a human-friendly DNS name or add SSL certificate. Or we can build some CICT pipelines and improve the process of deploying the application. If you're interested in any of this topic, please let me know in comments. I hope this is fine and useful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please support the effort by giving a like and subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you later.